Hi guys, Brexit means Britain will not become the next Silicon Valley. Now during the live stream on Tuesday night, I touched on this story about AI or artificial intelligence, where Rishi Sunak had instructed his government to set the groundwork for the UK leading the way on AI research and development. This is when the new technology is making massive progress on a monthly, not yearly basis. And we're beginning to see something of an arms race also taking place. And of course, the winner will be the country or bloc, that being the US, Europe or China. But should we listen to the politicians or the experts? Here Herman Hauser, the co-CEO of the tech investor Amadeus Capital Partners, says there's zero chance of the UK becoming the next Silicon Valley. Why? Because of Brexit. The Chancellor, as you may know, has said that he wants the UK to be the next Silicon Valley. What are the chances of that happening, in your view? Zero. <laughs> really? Why do you say that? When it comes to when it's, when it comes to semiconductors, uh, Britain is a minnow and always will remain a minnow. There are only three technology sovereignty circles. I'm just writing a book on technology sovereignty. Uh, there is the US, China, and uh, Europe are the only areas that have a chance of having some uh, resemblance of technology sovereignty. Uh, and uh, Britain, you know, Brexit in a way was the biggest loss of British sovereignty since 1066, because the only way that Britain gets some degree of sovereignty is by hopefully being part of Europe, of course, and it's unlikely that we'll be part of China. And I hope Britain doesn't want to become the 51st state of the United States. So <laughs> this is really interesting. And this idea of technological technology sovereignty is where the state decide, OK, these are the rules and regulations to, that need to be applied to technology. So, you know, with AI um, progressing on a weekly, monthly basis, um, the laws have to have to catch up and it's going to be very difficult. And, you know, the, the government that decides how the how AI operates will be the one who will be deciding how AI operates for the world because they will be in charge. Um, it's looking at the moment like the United States, maybe China, and then in third place, the European Union. But as he pointed out here, you need to be part of one of these. And it makes more sense for you, the UK to join the European Union, not to become the 51st state or to become part of China. It makes sense for the UK to be part of the bigger bloc. And I think... And I've said this before, Europe is losing out here also by having the UK outside. There are great minds in Britain and they, their expertise isn't being put to its full potential because the UK is outside the European Union. We need to work together. This can potentially be a threat to society, a threat to humanity or a wonderful tool going forward. And as he pointed out, you know, being outside makes no sense. We saw it when it came to the pandemic. We have to work together. When we work together, we're able to achieve great things. Unfortunately, Brexiteers would like to turn the UK, and Great Britain in particular, into a sort of North Korea of Europe. Block ourselves off from everyone else. But if you do that, you will not be leading the charge on when it comes to climate change or, t or technology or anything. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.